Hi guys, Matthew Woodward here and my Link Emperor review and tutorial is going to teach you how to use a much talked about Link Emperor link building service which you can use to build high quality links with minimal effort. I'm going to take you through setting up and fine tuning your campaign along with the setup of a tiered link building campaign. You'll also uncover new keywords to rank for whilst improving on page SEO for more traffic. So, if you haven't heard of Link Emperor before, it is a full link building suite and SEO campaign management tool that can be used to create high quality links as well as tiered structures with ease. Basically, you get a certain number of credits for your money every month. Here it's $147 for 30,000 credits and you can use those credits to build links. Now, if you take a look at this table here, you can tweak the allocations and see exactly how many links you're going to get each month for your money. This is the back end of Link Emperor and I have set up a test campaign already just to show you how it all fits together but I'm actually going to take you through the creation of a campaign. And in here you can see the various URLs that um, it automatically picked up and it automatically picked up which keywords those URLs are targeting, the search volume for those keywords, the current Google rank, as well as the on-page score. So very easily you can see which uh, pages have keyword opportunities and where there are rankings that you can uh, possibly steal just by improving the on-page SEO and setting up a link building campaign. But let's take you through setting up a new campaign from scratch. Creating your campaign is easy. You just come and click on new campaign and a campaign is a niche specific set of URLs or one URL you are trying to promote. So I'm going to promote my how to start a blog post. We are going to target United States. We need to select a category which best matches what we are doing. Uh, if you can't find an exact one, just find the closest match, that will be fine. You can leave this at default. You can also leave this at default. Along with all of these other options, you don't need to change them. If you want to give clients access to the campaign, you can create a username and password along with what data they have available. So this is perfect if you manage clients. But once set up, just click Add Campaign, and that will add it for us. So now you can see that campaign here, and that yellow dot means it's paused. Uh, oh, if you tick these boxes, you get some options, by the way. And also across here, you can introduce other columns if you want to see them. Next, you should really come and add your Google Analytics account. Uh, if you come to account, external linked accounts, they support a few different services here, but you should add your Google Analytics or your Clicky account if you're using that for analytics here, because it will actually go and connect to analytics and fetch additional data, which helps you with your ranking decisions. So add your analytics account and then come back to the campaign screen. Now we can go into the campaign for the first time and we need to come up to the Sites tab, Add Sites, and enter in a name to reference the site, along with the domain name of the site, including HTTP and www. if that is what your site uses. Not all of the sites use www. so check that. You can also select the analytics ID that you want to use and it asks you if it automatically uh, if you want to automatically add target URLs and keywords that it finds in analytics. Now this is what I did in the sample campaign up here. As you can see it added all sorts of URLs at random that were getting traffic from analytics. So if you want to be more specific with the URLs you want to rank untick this box and in this example I am going to untick that box and then click on add site. Next we need to add our targets so we can come across to targets, add targets and first we need to enter the URL. Again 
the dollar value. Let me explain the dollar value quickly. The dollar value it uses as a uh, measurement to internally bid on campaigns. So if you had a campaign with a $1 value per visit and another campaign with a $2 value per visit, the campaign with a $2 value would get twice as many links built to it over time as a one with $1 value. So that is how you define what the uh, dollar value is. I just leave it at blank. Uh, it makes it easy. But if you do need to prioritize campaigns in the future or certain targets, this is how you do it. Then all you need to do is add some keywords in, which I've already got here. And it can also add additional keywords by searching the internet for keywords the URL already ranks for that you haven't included here. This is a really handy option to find new keywords that you might be ranking like, you know, number 12, 9 or 8 for that you don't realize. And this will help find them and push them up further. So we can click add here and that will do it for us. Then I'm just going to add another target, which is the YouTube video for that tutorial. And click add down here. Now we can just come into uh, one of our campaigns here and you can see all of the different keywords that we added in. It will in time go and fetch the current Google ranking for each of these keywords for this URL as well as how many visits uh, this particular URL got last month for each keyword directly out of analytics. Now, you can see here a column called on page score. And what this means is it can either be a zero, a one or 2.5. And a zero means the keyword is not found anywhere on the page. So this is not found anywhere. A one means the keyword is found somewhere on the page and a 2.5 means it's found the keyword in the title. So you can see here there's a lot of zeros where the keyword's not even mentioned once and we could optimize for these terms a little bit just by adding a keyword a couple of times editing this page and if you actually come up to SEO trouble spots here this will actually uh, give you some recommendations and feedback of changes to make. So what you could do is make all of the changes. So it, it includes some of these keywords and then you can come back to um, your targets tab, click the URL you have made the changes to and then click reinspect selected on page SEO. And that takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete, but then you will see your on page scores updated. Now, while we're waiting for the additional data to come in, we can actually go out and hunt some new keywords with the research tab up here. And if you click on new report, we can call this um, make a blog. This is just a reference name, the target keyword, and then comparable URLs. So you can do a search for various keywords and look at some results and just make a short list of relevant URLs. Um, you wouldn't use blogger.com here because that's too big, um, but this how to start blog.org and, and down here an impossible HQ. You could just come across, paste in some relevant URLs and hit create research report. And that will go out now and look up additional keywords that we can use and build the report for us. And you can see down here that is building. Okay, the report's finished. So if we just come into it here, now you can see these different groups of keywords and a total amount of traffic available. So you can just click on it and that expands out. And you can see here the different keywords and their exact search volume. So you can just tick ones that you want to add. And I'm just going to go with these three. Assign selected to target. And I'm going to assign them to the YouTube video. And let that run through quickly. And once it's added those keywords, if we jump back to our campaign quickly, and you will see it has got an extra keyword. Some of them were dupes. So 
now we need to add um, a couple of articles to use in the links that we're going to build, whether that's posts on a private network or web twos. And you've got a few different choices when it comes to adding articles. So I'm going to take you through a couple and then I'm going to show you what you should be doing. Now, the first option you have got is to generate an article and you can either use an articlebuilder.net account if you have a subscription to that service or you can search a database of pre-written PLR articles and this will automatically grab an article and automatically spin it for you. Um, this isn't ideal, it's not going to be very unique, it's probably not going to make much sense, it certainly won't stand up to human moderation. But let me just import any one anyway and show you. So if we come in here, you can see the article it has pulled for us. The only problem is it's not going to be unique enough for us. So what you should be doing is you should actually manually add an article and you should be using the advanced spinning tutorial to produce a highly spun article that will pass human moderation every time and makes complete sense. So please spend time preparing an article and uh, pasting it into here. All you need is the title and the body. You don't need to include any images or videos. So please add an article in here, hit save article, and then we can move on. In fact, just before we move on, auto-generation settings. If you don't have any articles here, by default, it will use the PLR articles and pull them automatically. To avoid that happening by mistake, select no here and hit save settings. So if you forget to load an article, you're not going to be blasting your URLs uh, with PLR auto-spun content. So just take note of that setting there. Uh, next, we are going to jump up to the link building tab now, and I'm going to show you around how this works. Now, the first thing you want to do is change campaign allocations, and you want to blast each campaign separately and specify percentage allocations for each campaign. Now. What these two options does is if you combine all campaigns when doing link building blasts, if you've got a campaign about blogging and a campaign uh, about payday loans, then it's likely you will get links from one place to both sites and the content might not be relevant. So you want to make sure you blast each campaign separately. You want to blast a payday loan campaign with payday loan content to the payday loan site and the uh, how to start a blog campaign with the how to start a blog content to the how to start blog um, links so blast each campaign separately make sure you, you check that and you can say how many of your credits you want to allocate to each specific campaign now I've only got one campaign set up so 100% of my credits are going to that campaign okay Next, anchor text randomization settings. Now, this is to help protect against penguin so you don't end up with lots of exact match anchors and a high percentage of them. And if you move this slider around, you can see down here, based on the slider, we'll do 30%, 36% to your keyword, 22% to the keyword with random prefix and suffixes, and 42% to something random. So that's going to be terms, you know, like click here um, and your generic terms. So this one's your exact match keyword. This is variances of the exact match keyword. And this is generic phrases so you can just have a play with these um, and I would say somewhere around there is save 16 27 57 so just hit save and that's pretty cool because it helps automatically protect you against um, tripping up the penguin so to speak now we can take a look at the link type priorities and the types of links that are going to get built. If you come to the campaign and the link building tab and click customize link building settings, 
Now, this slider I will come back to in a minute, but here you can use these sliders to decide how many links of each type your campaign is going to build. So, to your money site, you probably don't want any forum profiles. You can probably reduce the amount of wikis down quite significantly. Video creation and submission, I like to wind that down um, a little bit. Private network posts, you might want to increase. Press releases tend to be high quality, although expensive. MISC platform submission, we can reduce. Blog comments, we can reduce. Article submission, we can reduce. And as well as social bookmarking. And that gives us a fairly nice balance of links to play with there. Down here we have some other options. We can tell it not to build links on adult or objectionable sites. And we can tell it to build my targets and keywords together. So it will use either the blog URL or the YouTube URL and blast them together. And you can also tell it to handle keyword priorities for you. And I will come back to how it decides priorities shortly. But in general, it takes a look at your current ranking, the amount of available traffic, the difficulty and your on-page score to come up with a priority value. And basically, the easier it is to rank for and the more traffic it will give you, the higher the priority. Uh, it works pretty well. So I allow it to handle the priorities for me. And then once you're done, you can click Save Link Building Design. But if you want to introduce tiered link building, if you bring this slider into the middle, you get a new set of sliders. So you can see that this bar now is split between the two. And if we bring this bar over here, the buffer tier bar grows, so it gets a higher percentage of the article links. Um, and so forth. Now, tiered link building relies on the fact that your first layer of link, you have more tier links pointing to your first layer of links. So, this number in blue should nearly, um, the, the, the total number here needs to add up to more than the total number of the greens. And if you bring the, this bar to around here, you know, you know, sort of around here, you'll be okay. Now, we want to use different types of links in our buffer tier. We want to go um, quite a lot of articles, quite a lot of blog comments, some forum profiles, some MISC platforms. Public Web 2 posts are fine. We can probably scatter some social bookmarks in. Um, and we don't want to create Web 2s or videos. And that will give us a nice tiered structure there. So if you want tiered link building, set it up like this. If you don't, um, bring this bar all the way to the left like that. So once you're happy with that, you can just uh, scroll down here and hit save link building design. Oh, one, one other option that comes up with the tiered is you can tell it to use more tiered links, so create more here and blast each one less, or create less of these and blast each one more. Now, averaging it in the middle is a good choice to go. So you can experiment with this if you want, but leaving it in the middle is a safe bet and hit save link building design. Okay. So now we have everything set up and we are ready to start the campaign, but let's just do a quick spot check and recap things quickly. We have got our targets listed in here and within our targets we have the keywords that we are trying to rank for. We have loaded an article in, at least one article, and you should have followed the advanced spinning tutorial for this. Don't use the PLR, not preparing Properly spun content is the single biggest point of failure for most people's SEO campaigns and it's where a lot of new people go wrong. Please spend time preparing the content and spinning it properly. See the advanced spinning tutorial 
if you follow that every time with the links that you build you're never going to run into a problem so please make sure you add a well spun article here uh, we have set up our link building settings we customized the uh, types of links that we want and we set up this tiered link structure here and we also in the link building section here we have set up our campaign allocations if you've got more than one campaign you can change your allocations we also played with the anchor text randomization to help us protect against penguin so to start the campaign once you have everything set up all you need to do is tick this box here and click on run selected and that will start the campaign links will begin to be built and you can come over here and look at the credits tab to see how your credits are being spent and the links are built and that is it that is how you set up link emperor you now have a fully automated link building campaign running all day every day for you and it is following this structure nicely here uh, Every week your rankings will update so you can keep track of progress. Um, we haven't actually had an update yet, but it will update so you can see exactly what effect the links are having and keeping track of things. And also in your campaign here, you get reports, PDF reports. These include all of your top performing pages, keywords and traffic and everything like that. So that is Link Emperor. And if you're unsure about your campaign or want to make things are set up properly before you kick things off, you can drop an email to support at linkemperor.com and one of the experts from the team will uh, look, look into your account, have a look around, make sure things are set up as they should be before you kick it off. So if you are unsure and just want to make sure that everything is set up right, just drop an email to support at linkemperor.com and those guys will jump in and help you out so that wraps up my link emperor review and you can see how easy it is to use to build links you can get fifty dollars worth of credits to play with for just seven dollars if you sign up now through my link www.matthewwoodward.co.uk forward slash link emperor who doesn't like cheap links huh see ya